Hi friends. Today's story is a book that was written 80 years ago. It's called Caps for Sale and it's a very silly story. It's one of my favorites to read out loud. Now it's called Caps for Sale, a tale of a peddler, some monkeys and their monkey business. A peddler is a person who sells things. And this man is the peddler in our story. He sells caps. Caps are an, is another word for hats. A cap is a kind of hat. Now, wait a minute. Our peddler is asleep in a tree. What could be happening in this story for him to be sleeping in the tree? And I noticed <laughs> two little monkeys. Let's find out what happens with this peddler, the monkeys and their silly monkey business in caps for sale. <gasps> there we go. I see our peddler. Oh my goodness, has all of his caps on top of his head. Let's count how many caps he has. He has one, two, three, four red caps. He has one, two, three, four blue caps. He has one, two, three, four brown caps. One, two, three, four gray caps, and his very own checked cap. How many caps is that all together? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 16 17 caps balanced on top of our peddler's head. Now, something I really like is that Esther Slobodkina puts a smiley face on her sunshine. And here is the little town where the peddler is hoping to sell some caps. Caps for sale. Once there was a peddler who sold caps but he was not like an ordinary peddler who carried his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset the caps. Can you practice sitting up very straight? We put our shoulders back, push them down, keep our head out high. Very nice. As he went along, the peddler called, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. See if anyone hears his call and buys a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. Hmm, no money for lunch because he hadn't sold any caps. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. 
He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First, his own checked cap, and then the gray caps, and then the brown caps, and then the blue caps, and at the very top, the red caps. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time and the sun was shining and flowers are starting to grow. It must be spring. When he woke, he was refreshed and rested. I know that resting helps me feel refreshed and better also. He's stretching, the sun is shining what is missing? Do you notice something different about his head? Something's not there. Before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. Oh no, where did his caps go? He looked to the right of him. He looked to the left of him. He looked in the back of him. He looked behind the tree. No caps. <gasps> no caps anywhere. Then he looked into the tree and what do you think he saw? What do you think he saw up there? Does anyone remember? What kind of animal is going to be in our book that's going to do something silly? <laughs> A monkey, that's right. I remember there were monkeys on the cover. <gasps> Whoa, and not just one monkey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen monkeys. On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a blue or a brown or a red cap. Look at the monkeys in all those caps. Now remember, our peddler had no money to buy food for lunch because he hadn't sold any of his caps. How can he sell these caps to earn money for food if the monkeys have taken them? Oh no, what will he do? Do you have any ideas how he could get his caps back from the monkeys? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do until finally he spoke to them. What do you think he said? You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. Can you shake your finger? Can you say, you give me back my caps? But the monkeys only shook their finger at him and said, <laughs> Wow. This, uh-oh, made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands 
glance at them and said, you monkeys, you, can you try that? You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, tut, tut, tut. do you think that made him feel very good? <gasps> now, he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, you monkeys, you, <gasps> you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet and said, By the t this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, can you stamp both your feet with me? You monkeys, you, you, give me back my caps. Wow. But those monkeys only stamped both their feet at him and said, No. At last he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap and he threw it on the ground. And he began to walk away. He was so angry that he left his own cap and he was giving up. But then each monkey pulled off his cap. What do you think the monkeys are going to do with those caps? Do you remember what the peddler did with his cap? Let's see. And all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. <gasps> wow! The monkeys threw their caps on the ground just like the peddler did. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town, calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. The beautiful color. And here we have a picture of our author and illustrator. How lovely. Well, thank you for listening to this very old story with me. It's still one of my favorites. And it reminds me of how sometimes when I'm feeling really mad and really frustrated, Sometimes I just want to quit. Sometimes I just want to be done. I'm, I don't want to keep trying. Just like when the peddler threw his cap on the ground, he got so mad and he started to walk away. But then those monkeys threw their caps on the ground too. And he was able to collect all of his caps. Something that we can all try to do. If we're ever so mad that we're shaking our fists and we're stomping our feet and we're ready to quit, is take some wonderful breaths. Let's do three deep breaths. When we breathe in, 
We use just our nose and we pretend to smell some delicious cookies or cinnamon rolls or our favorite smell. And when we blow out, we use just our mouths and we blow out our birthday candles and wish to be calm and wish to be well and wish to be happy and to keep going. All right, think of that sweet treat that you love the smell of. We're gonna do three breaths together. All right, use those noses. We're gonna breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Last one. Maybe it's double smells. Maybe it's cake and cookies. Maybe it smells like one of your grown-up smells when you give them a big hug. Something that fills you up with joy in your heart. Last big breath in and this time when we blow out, let's wish for our grown-ups to be calm and happy too. All right, breathe it in. job friends the more that we can ask our bodies to stop when we're getting angry when we want to shout when we want to stomp and shake our fists the more that we practice putting on the brakes and taking a little time for three delicious breaths the more our brain is growing the more our brain remembers oh, wait a minute I don't have to get so mad that I quit. I can take three delicious breaths. And I can think of another way to solve this problem. If you ever reach a point where you can't solve the problem, no matter how hard you try, don't forget, you have grown-ups and brothers and sisters and friends in your life who love you and who are here to help. And I'm just one of them. All right, I have a very fun game that we're going to play today. It is called Monkey See Monkey Do. You can play this game with one other person or two other people or three other people or four other people or five other people or a whole family or class full of people in the game. Everyone will take a turn being the peddler and everyone will take a turn being the monkeys. All right, let's go play. Come on. Okay, friends, are you ready to play monkey see, monkey do? The first thing we need is a cap for our peddler. That way we know who gets to decide what the actions are. All right, I brought out a floppy hat a winter hat that someone made me when I was just a little girl, and a baseball hat that says Navy on it because my dad was in the Navy. I think I'll wear this one because it makes me think of my dad. All right, on my cap goes. That means I'm the peddler and it's your turn to be the monkeys. All right, monkey see, monkey do. I can twirl around one, two, three. Can you? Okay, show me that you can twirl around. Now in this part of the game, whoa, good twirling. Everyone who twirls gets to keep playing and anyone who didn't twirl sits out until the next round. All right, two more rounds, are you ready? Monkey see, monkey do. I can hop like a frog. Can you? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Okay, your turn. Let's see you little froggies. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Great job, frogs. All right, last round. Monkey see, 
monkey do? I can act like a chicken. Can you? <gasps> Your turn to be a chicken. All right, little chickens, let's hear those chicken noises. Let's see those chicken wings. Very nice. All right, my turn being the peddler is over. I think you guys can take a turn now. Thank you for playing my game with me today, friends. Thanks for reading Caps for Sale. I hope we can all choose kindness today. I hope that we can spend some time reading books and hugging the people that we love. I'll see you next time. Thank you.